Black Excellence Award Show is happening Sunday at the Convention Center. This event celebrates successful minority businesses. A pre-show dinner starts at 3 o'clock. The show starts at 5. You can purchase tickets through their Eventbrite page. And two of our local three producers will be presenting awards that night. February is Heart Month, and today the American Heart Association is encouraging everybody to wear red and raise awareness about heart disease. It is the number one killer of both men and women. So you can join the American Heart Association in raising awareness simply, Allison, by wearing red. Hey, how about that, John Martin? <laughs> you and I both wearing some red for the day today. So everybody stay heart healthy if you want to do some exercise. Maybe do it indoors for the day today because the cold front has passed our area. That's what brought us that whole system. So much rain for the past couple of days, over two and a half inches officially at the Chattanooga Airport. Here's a check then of our temperatures. So they've already kind of bottomed out a little bit. And as we're looking ahead for the noontime hour, rising up slightly. So kind of midday highs, not our official high for the day already happened at midnight, generally in the low 40s. Now, if you're up along the Cumberland Plateau, it'll certainly be colder than that. Notice as we head through the evening time hours, though, so temperatures certainly dropping clouds off also breaking up. If you're out and about this Friday night, 35 degrees at 7 p.m. That wind chill, though, will be about five degrees cooler than that. So we're certainly already have places that feel like in the 20s as we go through the Friday night. All right, let's skip ahead then to the weekend. This is probably what you really want to know. Yes, clouds for the day today. Still a 10% chance for a couple of spotty showers this morning, but overall looking ahead to Saturday and Sunday, dry conditions and sunny skies. It will be really frigid tomorrow morning. Uh, low temperatures for most from 20 to 25. We'll have a few spots in the teens to start the day and really cold pretty much all day long. So 41 degrees for your high on Saturday. The good news is on Sunday, it'll be a bit warmer. So rebounding with a high of 52 degrees. Here's a little bit more of a detailed breakdown. So 26 at 8 a.m. on Saturday, up to 41 at 4 o'clock. Wind still from the north on Saturday. But notice on Sunday, we have wind coming from the south. So that's going to start to warm us up a little bit. 32 at 8 a.m. on Sunday and then up to 49 at 4 p.m. So go ahead, grab the coats for the day today. It's going to just get chillier outside. And then especially you'll need to layer up for tomorrow morning. Morning. Again, those lows for most locations from 20 to 25. Good morning. Hope your day is off to a terrific start. Always should be on a Friday, don't you think? Hopefully you had a chance to go through your closet and find something that you could wear that's red today, even as a pair of earrings or a pretty tie uh, to brighten your day because this is go red for women, something the American Heart Association is passionate about each and every year. So it's a great time for us to bring in Dr. Shawani Howard Baptiste. She is with the American Heart Association and boy oh boy is she sporting her red this morning. So nice to talk to you. It's so good to talk to you. Good morning. So we're very fortunate this year on 3 Plus U because really every week the month of February we're going to be focusing on heart health because it is such an impactful disease in this country, particularly for women and as I understand it, particularly for women of color. Is that right? That's true. Unfortunately, we are seeing a rise in heart attacks and heart disease diagnosis in women of color, particularly black women and Latino women. So I'm so happy that you've had us had me on today to really share some really key points to help keep us healthy and strong. Do we know yet why it seems to be so disproportionately affecting them? Is it not getting access to care or is it something different? I think it's all of the above. I think it's access to care, certainly stress and how we manage our stress, um, lack of access to appropriate uh, grocery stores and food, having opportunities to engage in exercise and regular physical activity. So when we look at the, the factors that really impact heart health and heart disease, it's really um, the decisions that we make, but it's really our environment. So we have to really take a closer look at our environment and the things that are around us that are keeping us either healthy or unhealthy. You know, you struck on something I think is so key, and that is your access to food. Because sometimes people who don't have this struggle can think, well, what do you mean you don't have access to health care? You can get to the doctor. It's the preventive side of things that can be such a challenge. I'm so glad you said that. Prevention is really the key. 
Um, and awareness is critical. So everyone needs to know that, that cardiovascular disease, unfortunately, is the number one killer of women in the United States. So if we can look at how do we provide greater access to healthy food, sometimes people say, oh, well, you can just walk outside. But unfortunately, some of our neighborhoods, it's not safe to walk outside. So we really wouldn't recommend that, even though Chattanooga offers a number of places that we can engage in exercise and, and um, physical activity. We want to make sure that whatever we do, that we're safe. So we want to be really conscious and thoughtful about the recommendations that we make for people and keeping in mind that everyone lives in a neighborhood. So we want to make sure that our neighborhoods are safe and they have access to the things that we need to make healthy choices. There are things that you can hear and this morning somebody might be hearing this conversation and it might be the 15th time they've heard it, but it finally resonates with them today. Talk to me though as a woman about what it is to look to girls coming up today because we know so much now that could could strengthen their lives from a very young age. That's an excellent point. I think when I think about young girls and young women, I think about how do we start lifetime habits. I just had a birthday last week and turned 45. And so I've done some half marathons, some 5Ks, uh, planning to walk with friends this weekend. So what are the things that we can do at an early age as young girls, as teenagers and young women that really create a pathway and journey of lifetime fitness and exercise? Doesn't mean that I didn't have cupcakes last weekend and enjoy my birthday. <laughs> But we want to think about those types of um, foods in moderation. So certainly always a time to celebrate, but we want to think about what are the things that we're doing on a daily basis that are encouraging heart health. So you mentioned it's not a good idea for some people to get out and go for a walk outside. We are in the winter time too, which can make it difficult even in good circumstances. What about simple things like taking the stairs as opposed to an elevator or just walking around the house and counting your steps? Good idea? All excellent ideas. You know exactly what to do. Um, I just did that yesterday because it was raining outside. So I took the stairs and just did about 30 minutes. I had my music. I talked to my mom on the phone and just did the stairs up and down. <laughs> it's a really, it's a great way to catch up to family and friends, but also to get our steps in. So you can monitor your steps through your watch or a phone or an app. And it's a great way to really track your progress. And you can see quickly, hey, I only did you know 4,000 steps last week and now I got up to 6,000 steps. So it's a great way to monitor and track our fitness and exercise. I had to chuckle because what a relatable comment you just made when you said I walked the steps and was talking to my mom. We've yeah. all been there and done that. But that makes what you're sharing with us this morning so resonating with people because it's practical. It's practical, exactly. Even I, I love my mall walkers. So if it's not, uh, if it's raining outside and it's not, you know, the best weather, you know, you can take the stairs or can you walk in your home? Can you jump rope or even hula hoop in your home? Can you do things with your family and friends? Can you, you know, stand in place and do jumping jacks or stretch um, while you're watching your favorite program in the evening? So it's really about how do we create opportunities for all of us, our family and friends, to really engage in the types of behaviors and activities that will keep us healthy for a very long time. And do it with your girlfriends. Y'all can all yes. jump together and then you're de-stressing even more. <laughs> if people do have questions that have 30 seconds left, if they just want to call the Heart Association and get some resource guide, can they do that? Absolutely. Feel free to call the American Heart Association at 423-763-4406. Again, it's 423 423- 763-4406 or heart.org backslash Chattanooga. All right, Dr. Shawani Howard Baptiste, you might find me on the phone today talking to my mom going up and down the stairs. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Thank you so much. We're back after this. We grew up here, raised our families here. And that means we know every corner of the Tennessee Valley. We know what the weather can do. And we make sure you know too. What you can expect in your neighborhood. Our commitment to you for an accurate local forecast. At Jack's, everything is made with a dedication to Southern flavor, starting with never frozen, always fresh chicken fingers with fries and our new cherry fried pie. That's just more to love. Jack's, all about the South. Your appearance says a lot about you. So does supporting a good cause. At Our Goodwill, your purchase has a purpose. It makes jobs happen. So go ahead, buy something good, and do something great. 
Chef Lynn Buffet in East Ridge has fully reopened the buffet. Enjoy a large array of delectable dishes like seafood, fresh sushi, and grilled-to-order hibachi. Chef Lynn, the perfect place to visit with family and friends for a delicious lunch, brunch, or dinner. The past few months have not been easy for anyone, but Chef Lynn is so thankful for your support over the past 20 years, even during hard times. Visit us here in East Ridge to continue celebrating all your favorite Chinese dishes. Go see the chef, Chef Lynn. Reynolds Wrap makes this whole cooking and cleanup thing so easy. Speeds up this so I can get to them. Easy prep, cook, and clean with Reynolds Wrap. At Massey & Associates, our team is committed to righting wrongs by trying to secure money for our clients. If you've been hurt in an accident, contact us today and find out if you have a case. Massey & Associates, you got to get Gary. There's nothing like a little game of horse. Catch the Tennessee Valley's best high school basketball players on Horsing Around with me, Ben Bobick, Sundays on Local 3 News. Brought to you by Wilderness at the Smokies, Sevierville, Tennessee. Local 3 News. Coverage you can count on. Okay, you're probably beginning to get things ready to file your taxes for 2021. That's never really a fun thing to think about, but one of those things we all have to do nonetheless. So if we can help you make it a little bit easier, that would be a good thing. Happy this morning to have Lisa Green Lewis join us. She is a CPA with TurboTax. Nice to talk to you this morning. Nice to talk to you too. So I think that I heard through the grapevine that this year might be a little bit tricky for people when they are filing their taxes because in 2021 I'm guessing since we had a lot of stimulus money come our way that did not make it tax free money correct well stimulus that is um, that is not taxable and also you know if you didn't get the full amount and you're eligible for more or if you had a baby in 2021 you can get more stimulus in the form of a recovery rebate credit when you file. Oh, okay. But so how about the child credits that came people's way? Is that going to be a taxable? Um, that's not taxable. That's your 2021 child tax credit, which, you know, that can boost your tax refund. One thing that people need to remember, some people did receive advance payments of their child tax credit starting last July. So if you did receive those advances, just remember that that was a portion of your 2021 child tax credit. So you may see less child tax credit that, than you're used to when you file. But one thing to also remember under the American Rescue Plan, the child tax credit was increased from $2,000 to up to $3,600 for your child that's under six and then for each child six to 17 it was increased to three thousand dollars okay so there are a lot of people going man julie had zero for two right off the bat i was asking you two questions and i was wrong on both so when people go to use a program like TurboTax, sometimes people are a little bit concerned because it feels a bit robotic but the truth is these questions are there prompt to get people to the right filing, right? Right. Um, it asks you very simple questions. It has tiles that you just click on, like, were you self-employed? Did you buy a home? Did you have a baby? And you click on those and it puts you in the right product for you. And then, you know, one thing about TurboTax, we're no longer DIY, do it yourself. You can either do your taxes yourself if you want to, or you can get help along the way and have your tax return reviewed by a tax expert before you send it off. Or now you can fully hand your taxes over to a TurboTax Live tax expert. Excellent. So are you expecting some difficulties for people when they do go to file this year in light of the pandemic? Um, one important thing to point out so that they don't have difficulties, we talked about the advanced child tax payments and stimulus. The IRS sent some new letters. Um, so they sent IRS letter 6419 if you received advanced payments, and they sent IRS letter 6475 if you 
receive the third stimulus, you want to have those letters in front of you um, because you need to report the amount that they sent, especially for the advanced child tax credit. And you want to have, you know, the right amounts, um, input the right amounts, or if you give it to a TurboTax Live expert, give them that letter. Because if you're eligible for more credit, um, you have to have the correct amount that the IRS sent. And so you don't have any processing delays and, you know, you're eligible for your refund that you're expecting. So when people uh, utilize you through TurboTax, since you mentioned there are the different ways that they can take advantage of your expertise there, do they choose for themselves if they want to pass things off to a real live CPA, as you said, or will the, can, will the program even kind of guide them towards, hey, I think you need some more help here, let's connect you? Yes, yeah, so on every screen, you can have access to a TurboTax Live expert. It's your choice. Um, a lot of people, you know, they start out thinking they want to do their taxes themselves and they may come up with a question. So then they can connect with the TurboTax Live expert and they can either get help along the way or they can choose, you know, I don't want to do that, just fully hand their taxes over. Okay, well, it is excellent information you shared with us this morning. I'm sure this is gonna become a very, very busy season for you and all of your fellow CPAs out there. So good luck getting through it. Thank you. Very nice conversation. You can always learn more uh, by checking out TurboTax and Intuit. Thanks to Intuit for the conversation with Lisa Green Lewis this morning. And we are back with more 3 Plus U in just a minute. James, your car was pulling to the right and you came to Budget Break seeking alignment. What happened? They fixed it for the best price in town. His path was crooked and now he is aligned. Budget Break's alignment starting at just $59.99. Alignment! Talk to a few people about their favorite color and you'll hear a few different answers. Talk to the Tennessee Education Lottery and you'll only hear one. All of them. That's because we think they each bring out the best in one another, just like every one of our employees. After all, at the Tennessee Education Lottery, we believe diversity starts from within. That's why we celebrate inclusion every day. The Tennessee Education Lottery. Game-changing, diversity-embracing fun. Do I love speed walking? No. Honestly, I just got into this because my car insurance rates got way too expensive. And I needed a faster way to, you know, do life stuff. But now that I found affordable insurance, there's no slowing me down. With a down payment as low as $35, Direct Auto lets you stop compromising and keep driving. No matter who you are, or what you decide, We are here for you. Sean, sum this up for us. Why did you stop working at the big auto repair chain? I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep charging people double what they'd pay at budget breaks. Budget Breaks, alignment starting at just $59.99. Take your car to Budget Breaks. If you are looking for something to get out and enjoy this weekend and take in the significance of Black History Month that we have a chance to enjoy every February, why not think about heading down to Dalton and taking advantage of this beautiful exhibit that they have on display now at the Creative Arts Guild. Robert Webb and Joshua Garrier join us. They too have collaborated to bring this exhibit to life. Nice to talk to you both this morning. Thanks for the chance to talk with you. It's a pleasure, ma'am. What a wonderful thing y'all have undertaken here because, Robert, as you were describing it to me, uh, you and Joshua have this friendship uh, and a love, mutual love of art. So you collected on your own, curated, is it 30 pieces that you have of nationally and internationally renowned African-American artists? 
That, that's correct. So we have pieces from our collections, as well as a suite of prints from the Brandywine uh, workshop in Philadelphia that Joshua and I uh, acquired uh, to be a part of this show. And that will live on uh, in a public display at the Whitfield County Courthouse after the show is over. So it's not on display at the Guild, or it is at the Guild? No, it's the, the exhibit is at the Guild, but then we're really fortunate to have a community that's committed to having art in public spaces. Mm -hmm. And so this is a way for the community to enjoy the work for uh, a long time. Now, Joshua, I'm looking behind you a little bit because the pieces that we can see on the wall are three, I think, uh, of the 30 that you've collected. And each one, you can tell, is going to bring a different emotion from the Absolutely. observer. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We have an Albert going behind us, a Benny Andrews, and then a Jakiah Booker. Um, the Albert, the first, uh, Benny in the center, and then the Jakiah on the end of there. Um, each one definitely speaks to different walks of life and energies that these people bring to the table. And so, um, personally, I'm a, I'm a Benny man myself, but um, they're, they're all absolutely lovely. You are also a music man. You said that your, your particular artistic medium is music. Your dad, and I think you said your uncle, are artists, but just like in music, you pour an emotion in, I'm sure, differently each time you play. When you are looking at a visual piece of art, an interpretation can come differently each time you look at it. Absolutely. I can't say, speak on having synthesia or anything of the like, but um, uh, truthfully, the parallels are, um, they, they exist in every way. Uh, from the color basis to even if you have the pleasure of getting to know the artist, there are certain things that just speak louder than perhaps what is in front of your eyes. So, and music, it's, it, that's a given because it's, it's all sonics and so it touches your ears, but uh, I, I absolutely agree. Joshua, I mean, uh, Robert, you mentioned the support you have down there in Dalton uh, with the arts-loving community. I think it might surprise people sometimes when they either leave Atlanta and come north to you or leave Chattanooga and go south. And what a treasure trove you have there in Whitfield County. Well, you're very kind to say that. We've, we've had a long-standing uh, arts community here. Uh, the Creative Arts Guild will be celebrating its 60th anniversary next year. It's the oldest multidisciplinary community arts organization in the state. And the Sculpture Garden is the only permanent sculpture garden in the state of Georgia. So we're really excited about the opportunities that we can provide to people so that they can enjoy the arts here. And again, all of these programs and exhibits are free to the community. So it's a, it's a really wonderful opportunity to come out this evening for the, uh, the opening of the exhibit and then to, uh, to you know, for the rest of the month, have a chance to visit and see these, these works that we're really proud to share with the community. And uh, I think Joshua said it very well. There's a lot of variety here. Um, these works range from 1957 to 2013. So there's a lot of different styles, a lot of different uh, themes that are explored, but uh, something for everyone to be sure. I don't pretend to know many artists by name. I'm not that uh, intelligent in that category, but are some of the artists represented somewhat close by or any native of Georgia or at least the Southeast? Sure. So Benny Andrews, whose work is between Joshua and I here on the wall, is a, a Georgia native. Uh, Mr. Andrews was a, a seminal figure in the second half of the 20th century in terms of his artwork. Um, his, his father actually was sort of a folk artist who became known as the Dot Man. But uh, Benny Andrews was trained at the Art Institute of Chicago and became one of the really uh, dominant figurative artist of uh, his era. So we're delighted to have a piece by him here. And um, then there, there are a number of New Orleans artists, uh, Elizabeth Catlett, uh, Katerina, excuse me, Howardina Pendel. So yes, a number from the Southeast, but also uh, the, the West Coast and Mid-Atlantic and uh, Northeast. We have a minute left, so the exhibit will be up through the month, then the pieces go back to their home museums? No, so, so the pieces will go on uh, display at the Whitfield County Courthouse for a long-term loan, uh, other than a few pieces that Joshua and I will, will keep in our own homes for <laughs> uh, you know, our collections. 
Well, it is lovely for you to spend some time with us, and I hope that we'll have you on again as the season continues because you're right, you do have a lot of upcoming things there at the Creative Arts Guild that would love to help you highlight, but thank you for ushering this one off with us. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. You can learn much more by going to creativeartsguild.org. They are celebrating Black History Month all this month. And Robert was right when he said they have got a fantastically supportive arts community down there in Dalton. They'd love to have your support too. We're back after this. Our homes are often our largest investment, and over the last six years, my team has helped over 3,000 families. So whether you're considering buying or selling, don't trust your largest investment to an inexperienced agent. Discover the Mark Height team difference. Make your house a home at Badcock Home Furniture and More's President's Day.